Hi, this is Bruce from Jingle Mining. So in this week, you may have noticed that uh, the coin price of the Thorium and the Thorium Classic has risen about like 20% and for a Thorium Classic, it has a rise for 50% at most. So as well as there is a rumor, whatever it's a rumor or a confirmed uh, notification, the merge is going to happen within one month or two. So many customers are concerned, what if I bought this iPolo uh, V1 Mini, but I have to switch to a certain classic mining soon, like in one month or two. So how is the performance of the ETC mining of this miner and how to set up? So in today's video, we will show you uh, this topic. So first, we will have a quick report of the thermal mining of this miner. So in the past day, we have switched to this miner into the Jingo mining um, account. So uh, here is the observer link. You can ask for it uh, if you want to see. Uh, so right here, the Apollo ETH miner, it is mining for about 320 megahertz per second. And uh, the past 24 hours, the 24 hour average mining hash rate is 313 megahash per second. So it is uh, beyond the standard 300 megahash and uh, it's working very perfectly. And right here in the miner setting page, you can see that uh, the fan speed, chip temperature, everything works just fine. And uh, the curve uh, and the mining hash rate is just perfect. So the point of ASIC miner is just meant to stable and you don't need to worry much. And uh, so far, iPolo just uh, did his job. So if you would like to switch to ETC mining, then you have to go to the miner configuration here under the configuration. And uh, here, um, coin configuration, you have to select ETC because the algorithm sounds somewhere could be slightly different and right here you just uh, type your etc mining pool url so just put your uh, etc pool uh, url into the pool one pool two or whatever and your worker name or your wallet etc wallet address and uh, for me it's going to be bruce 0102 and if you put a full stop at here, and this 002 will be the miner name. And uh, after this setup, save and apply. So in like a few seconds, it will reboot. And uh, within like say uh, 10 minutes, it will successfully connect with uh, ETC mining pool without any trouble. Uh, if everything goes well, no the internet uh, problems. And uh, within 30 minutes, uh, the hash rate will slowly grow to at least 300 megahertz per second. So, see you later. So after about 20 to 30 minutes waiting, and now the running overview, you can see that the mega hash is already reached the 306 megahash per second. Uh, and everything, you can see that uh, this chart is super flat. And uh, by the way, the fan speed I set to maximum fan speed at 60% and room temperature is around I think uh, 23 to 24 um, and the chip temperature is at uh, 50 Celsius um, it's quite okay it's uh, ETC mining performance and let's get into the pooling because the data will be slightly delayed compared with the local uh, so this here will be just uh, just for your reference and uh, but anyway it has received quite a decent uh, computing power so uh, that's all for today's topic and if you are concerned the mining performance of the ETC mining of this iPolo V1 mini model so please sum up for this video and uh, hope this can help your uh, knowledge and um, make your decision to purchase with us maybe so if you like our channel please subscribe and uh, hit the like button for our video that will help us a lot and uh, see you in the next video